What is it I keep in my saxophone case, you ask? Well, let's find out. Let's get at it. Hey guys, welcome back to Aaron's Thing. I'm sorry I haven't posted a video in a while. Uh, today we're going to be doing a video of what I keep in my sax case. So, for those of you who follow my videos and watch them, you actually have seen the review on this case. This is the Protec Pro Pack uh, saxophone case, and as you can tell, it is, it's really nice. Um, I highly recommend you go watch the review on it and the other items I got. So, without further ado, let's get at it. So, in this pocket, I keep a whole bunch of stuff, and you'll be surprised at how much I actually keep in there, and how big it actually is. So, let's open it up. First things first, I keep a spare mouthpiece. This is a Selmer Standard mouthpiece. I keep it in this uh, ESM little container that come with my actual jazz mouthpiece. You never know when you're going to need a spare mouthpiece. Uh, you know, if, in case you were to drop one and it was to break, you never know. So that's why I always carry a spare mouthpiece. I carry this little thing. And for those of you who may be new to music or have never been in marching band, this is called a lyre. Now, I'll show you how it works later. I'll show you where you put it. But you put it on your saxophone. And you have a little flip folder that you can keep all your music in. And it clips down on it just like that. So I keep one of those. Now, this, I'm not going to open it up because I only have two hands. Uh, this is my conducting baton. You know, my little magic wand. I keep it in there because I generally travel with my saxophone. Keep some Sterisol mouthpiece cleaner. Uh, tasteless. Doesn't have any smell to it. You know, put it on for about 30 seconds. And then rinse with cold water and you're good. I keep my saxophone stand. See if I can get it folded out here with one hand. Keep my saxophone stand. Yeah, that fit in that pocket. I keep spare reeds. Uh, those are cheap reeds because um, I'm playing on currently a Legere two and a half uh, classic. So, there really is no need unless I lose my reed or I step on my reed or run it over with a car. There's really no need for spare reeds. But you never know. Things happen. So, in this main compartment, we're going to open it up. And yes, I'm the weirdo that keeps the bags the saxophones come in. Uh, I keep my mouthpiece. And the, mouth, and the mouthpiece cap. This is a ESM Jazz Heaven mouthpiece. Let's see if it'll focus. ESM Jazz Heaven mouthpiece with a Legere 2.5 classic. I keep my neck strap. Neck swab. polisher which <laughs> took me forever to figure out what this thing is let's see what else I got little polishing cloth read case mouthpiece brush cork grease always need that And a little key polisher or a little key brush uh, does it for that compartment and here I keep my neck 
I keep it in two bags just to keep the dust off of it. Now, it is good to note that in this case you can put another neck, but I'll have my cleaning stuff and my mouth and my uh, not mouthpiece, but neck strap fit all in that little compartment. And then, of course, we have this. I'm actually going to try and take it out of the bag and also keep this little silica packet in there. Um, it's it's a good thing to have. Don't mind my back brace laying in the distance. Uh, have to wear that for the time being. And of course I keep my saxophone in here. It's a Summer Paris Reference 54 Alto. It's a very beautiful saxophone. Uh, I like it very much. Uh, be sure to check out the review on the case, the cleaning kit that come with it, the saxophone stand has its own review, uh, the saxophone has its own review, please be sure to check out the reviews on them. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much what I keep in my, uh, in my saxophone case. And, uh, as you can see... A lot of that's all the stuff that fit in there. Uh, that's quite a lot. So what was I gonna go over again? Um, oh yeah, this the liar. I'm gonna show you real quick, like where this liar goes. If you can see, right there, there's a little hole right here take the screw, loosen it up, stick that right there like that to tighten it up, and that's what it does. That's how it holds your music, and you can see it's not going anywhere. I mean, it moves a little bit, but... It's not going to come out. I'm pulling up on it. And then as you're marching, it holds your music. So yeah, that's what that does. Sorry, I'm having to work with one hand. So yeah, and about the little silica packet, I leave the silica packet in there. It's a little, um, keeps humidity and draws up all the moisture. So if after I, you know, I clean my saxophone now after every time I play it to prevent sticky keys and such. So, um, what that does is that actually helps prevent some of the moisture uh, from sticking to the pads and everything. So, I leave that down there in that little compartment right there. I don't know if you can see it. It's a little compartment. It doesn't touch the saxophone. It doesn't hurt the saxophone at all. Um, but I usually keep it in there. So, yeah. All of this stuff fit in this case, which is amazing. Um, you know, you look at it, and you wouldn't think that it'd be able to hold that much. But actually holds quite a bit. I mean, I could even fit that saxophone stand in here, and it's pretty decent size. So, that's what I keep in my saxophone case. Um, from player to player, it really does vary on what you keep in your case. Um, but this is what I keep in mind. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, I apologize for not uploading a video very much. Uh, there's been some technical difficulties. Uh, please watch that video to find out. I'm not going to go into it all right now because I'm running low on time. But please watch that video and please be understanding 
and uh, I really do thank you guys for all the love and support. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and have a good rest of your day.